Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Falkreath. <laughs> Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. In Skyrim, you can buy houses in most of the major cities and the provinces or whatever it is, holds. Now, there are three in which you can build a house if you have the um, Hearthfire uh, add on. And it's very interesting to build a house. A lot of money and a lot of detail go into it. And you got to start somewhere. There is one in the Pale and one in Hodgel March or whatever the heck it is. Uh, Falkreath is actually the best place to build one of the houses. And it is a very nice, it's called Lakeview Manor. It is one of my favorite houses to build. You can do different configurations, etc. And it is probably the one that is least desolate in a sense because most of the houses you build are in desolate regions. But I digress. So let's get on with building a house. First, you must be Thane, then, you must buy the property. Good to see you. Yes. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Falkreath. Congratulations. I grant you a personal house, Carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. Now that you are Thane, you can buy land and build a house. And your house, Carl, Rhea, can become your steward and once you've got the house complete. Again, Lakeview Manor is the best one to build, in my opinion. I gotta find the person I'm gonna wait here whom I can buy land from, and that is the steward or second person in charge for the Yarl. Um, I'll wait a little bit, maybe they're sleeping in here. Now, I'll have a conversation with Sigyard, uh, not really Sidger. Sidger. I gotta find his steward here and buy the land from him. Here we are, or her. I serve under Jarl Sidgear and Jarl. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left, just past Pine Watch. And there you go. I think I'm going to do a video on Pine Watch. It is a interesting place, but you got to get there. And on the map here, you see Pine Watch. I'm going to fast travel and then walk to um, Lakeview Manor. Now, Pine Watch, again, is very interesting. I'm not going to enter it. But I'm going to walk to Lakeview Manor here, and it's really a nice location. Once you get over this area, you'll eventually see a bench, and there you go. This is where you start to build your house, Lakeview Manor discovered. And you got this space where you can build a house, and you got to look at the drafting table. And you got to decide to buy a small house layout first. You need to begin building lumber or buying lumber. And you open the chest. There's clay, quarried stone, and iron ingot, and a conundrum ingot. You can then 
Let's see, beginner's guide to building a house. Get started, blah, 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 drafting table, etc. I already know how to do this. I'm going to go and you can mine stone here right over in this area. There's a pickaxe and a stone. You can use the pickaxe to mine clay, which is over here. Very convenient locations. And again, you need to buy lumber. First place you go to buy lumber is a sawmill. But let's take a view here. Lakeview Manor. Look at that beautiful lake. And a wizard performing a sacrifice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll have to take care of that at some point. Maybe the house Carl will. But we got to get to building. And the first thing you do is I'm going to travel to White Run and dump some things off, but we will get to ordering lumber later. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you got to go to a sawmill in order to buy lumber. My advice is you get 20 logs for 200, buy 100 logs it will last you through a lot of building and a lot of crafting that you will need to do also when you go to stores before you start building a house my advice buy up glass and goat horns and animal skins etc because they are necessary also buy up iron and conundrum or because you will need those to craft now i'm going to go back to lakeview manor and i'm going to start building the house and you start with the bench here you got to get clay iron and use the anvil here and you're going to make building materials you got to make hinges iron fittings lock first make some locks and then you're going to need to make lots and lots of nails i made about five locks here six it doesn't in help with your smithing as well but you got to make hinges, iron fittings, nails, you name it. And you make 10 nails per one iron ingot. And again, you, you wind up uh, getting your smithing skill increased. And now I'm going to switch to actually building the house. Once you've made nails and fittings and stuff like that, you can grab the clay and dump off the um, ingots. Yeah, I'm dumping all the iron fittings and the locks in there. Nails, etc. And now you can look at the draft table and you can choose small house layout. This will become your entryway to the major part of the house. And you look at this carpenter's workbench, it will tell you what you need. Hmm. This isn't working out. Okay, let's take a look. Small house layout. Yes, there we go. Now you go to the carpenter's workbench and you can begin building the foundation. And you need to use logs, nails, etc. Uh, quarried stone. Again, you will build this small house, and this will be the entryway eventually to your main house. And again, I've gathered up everything I need to build the house. Iron fittings, hinges, goat horns, it doesn't matter. You'll need it. Clay, and you can go here 
Again, use the carpenter's workbench. You already have logs, quarried stone, build, build the house frame. And again, you'll need clay to build walls. So you get the clay. This is how it looks, basic foundation. You'll need clay for the walls. But what you can do now is go to the drafting table. Nope, you can't add on. But once you get the small house built, again, I need clay. And I got to get clay out of the chest and build the walls. And the house walls are built. I need to build a floor. And I need roofing. Again, more roof sawed logs you need door and once you've built this you can build an animal pen why not a garden and a grindstone but i won't i'm going to grab everything out of this chest because that is what i'm going to need the apiary do that i'm going to build a garden grindstone you can do crafting and a stable gonna build that too now I'll worry about the armorer workbench and the smelter later I believe let's see huh I'm gonna grab yep I'm gonna dump all this stuff in and get rid of it temporarily nothing's going to be stole from this so don't worry you can load up this chest with all kinds of other stuff and nothing will be stole from it and let's go back and enter the small house here as you can see it's very tiny right now but let's enter lakeview manor when you enter this house there's nothing here except the chest. You can store stuff in this chest. This is your workbench for the interior. There's furniture and containers you'll need to build. You'll need hinges, nails, etc. Yeah, that's why you need goat horns for sconces. But I digress. And I'm going to move on to another part of building here. I got the stable there. You can add on to your house, but again, this is the basic house. Back at the drafting bench, and you can remove the workbench, but don't. Add on a main hall, and that will expand your house. And you'll need more clay, more stone, more logs. Again, buy lots of logs to begin with, and then you can mine more stone and more clay as you need it. Now, as you see, I've built the main entry. I have the entry hall and I have the main addition, as you can see. Now you can add on other rooms and adding on other rooms, I chose to east wing will be a um let's see north wing east wing various wings here and what am i going to decide um i install the cellar by the way i'm going to add a armory to the east wing because you can add a library but i'm going to add the armory and then you can change your mind before you start building. The north wing, I'm going to add a trophy room. And then the west wing, I'm going to add bedrooms. And start building from there. And again, you go to the workbench, you start building doors and foundations and eventually you will add on to these uh, areas you need to deal with. I'm building more work material 
I'm going to switch over, cut over to where I've added all the additional um, wings. I've added all the additional wings. Now, like I said, with this workbench, you're going to have to craft stuff. Containers, furniture, like display cases, etc. Um, I'm going to add a few, maybe. You got weapons racks. I'm going to build a few of these things. You can use logs and nails. I'm out of iron fittings. I can still put some shelves in. I have plenty of nails. Sconces, again, goat horns. And I'm going to put those in. Then you can mount animal hides. Do a barrel here. And there's various other things. There's a little glitch in this where you might build everything. And then it says you haven't. All you got to do is pull back from the workbench. And again, re you know, reopen the workbench and it should fix that little glitch. I'm going to dump all this in here for storage. I don't need to carry it around. But I've added all the houses, all the extra rooms, etc. And as you see, the furnishings are building. Once you enter, this is going to be the main hall here. It's got an upstairs. There's my house, Carl. There's a workbench here. There's places for beds, etc. Then you come over to the armory here. It's vacant. Again, there's a workbench. And then there is the bedroom area where the family can rest or guests can rest. And then there's a back here to the cellar and then the trophy room. All these contain workbenches and you will be crafting decorations and other things. I'm going to cut to the full Lakeview Manor in its glory. But before I leave, yep, I want to make sure I dumped everything that I can, that I'm not carrying around any extra stuff. So let's get to Lakeview Manor in all of its glory. I have completed Lakeview Manor, and here we are. Look at it. It is in all of its glory. All the wings are complete. The trophy room, every little detail is complete. You get your house Carl to be a steward, and she can hire a stagecoach to take you somewhere, buy a horse to go into your stable that you can ride, um, buy you a cow to hang out in your garden with some chickens, and the chickens lay eggs for uh, alchemy, and you got the drafting bench here. The carpenter's workbench, I got nothing to build, and I am complete. If you look here on the drafting table, I have pulled the workbenches out of every part of the house. The entryway, the main hall, trophy room, everything is complete. All the details are complete. And it took a while and a lot of money. Pickaxes, woodcutter's axe, whatever. The house is done. And this is the garden. You can plant stuff if you want. That is everything. If you walk up over here, this is the west wing. On top of it, there's an archery range, a tanning rack. You come down here, this is the apiary. I can get some bees and honeycombs. There is the beautiful view of the altar. Looks like the necromancer is not there. Maybe my house Carl took care of them and killed them. I did a video a while back showing this location. Maybe I'll link to it. And let's see. Yeah, I don't see the guy walking around anywhere he looks like he's dead so maybe my house carl who is now my steward and you can make your house carl a steward 
and they can again buy you stuff and do stuff for the house. And here we have the east wing, and you got a nice sitting area. It's beautiful. Uh, there's the cow again, my horse, and let's get into Lakeview Manor. As you can see, there is the entry hall with animal heads hanging all over the place and display cases. There's my pet mud crab who is armored in dwarven armor. Bought him as an add on. I, I got the blade of Falkareth, which means I am Thane on display here, and a display case with a dwarven axe, which I couldn't sell because it's stolen. Strong box with lots of gems. Can sell those off if I need to. And as you see, everything is fully decorated. Main hall here, vast quantities of food. You get your own. Uh, lots of venison and goat cheese that I've gathered or hunted. I always take wheels of goat cheese from anywhere, anything else. Venison, porker meat, yeah, whatever I've hunted. Over here, I have the alchemy lab. And yeah, you can build an alchemy lab. And a area over here, you see I have my own personal uh, bard, Llewellyn the Nightingale. He was hired by my house carl slash steward to hang out, play music. You can request. Over here is the back part of the main hall. Again, more decorations. And then the trophy room where I am now storing my uh, dwarven bowls that I find in Dwemer Runes. But I have built a Earth Mother uh, creature. God, now it escapes me. Doesn't she look magnificent? More decorations. A frost troll. Ooh, with some Dwemer uh, power batteries. I don't know. I, it escapes me now. I'm not even bothering here. A draugr. And, yep. Dwarven bowls, whenever I crawl through some dwarven dungeons, if they're 20, 15 to 20 gold, they're worth selling. I just pile them up here. I have a dragon skull. Yeah, impressive. I killed enough dragons. The skull is central. I have a spider worker. Encountered those plenty of times in some Dwemer runes. Um, yeah. The Dwemer Sphere, impressive, isn't it? Again, I just like to store stuff around, and this is stuff I found. More decorations. As you can see, another strong box. Hag Raven, yep. Want one of those as a trophy. Spriggan, Earth Mother Spriggan. That is what the first one is. It escaped me, but you see... All these decorations, impressive. Now we're going to go on to the area here. Lots of decorations. The armory. I have a mannequin that I haven't put stuff on yet. I have this guy who is a Falkareth guard. I didn't kill the guard to get the armor. He just died fighting a dragon. I just took his armor. And there is a lot here. You can store and display weapons all over the place. Different armor sets. The Nordic carved armor. The ancient, or the blade armor. The carved armor here. The blade armor here. And I've moved further on in the quest. And then the ancient Nord armor. I'm going to do a video on how to get that. And a blade here on display. That is the armory. 
Now, next is the, again, let's see, weapons racks. You can see cheese, lots of cheese. For some reason, there's wheels and wheels of cheese everywhere in this place. I just gather them up. This is the bedroom, master bed, children's beds, all decorated, all nice. You can move your family here. This is, again, Lakeview Manor is the nicest place to build. And you can move a family. I'm not moving my family. I'm keeping them in winter hold because they're annoying. And this is my steward, Rhea. And you can have her do things like buy improvements to the house, uh, building materials if need be, um, furnishings if need be. Don't bother. You've built everything. You, she can follow you, buy material, whatever. Have her chill out. She's got a nice, comfortable place. She can sleep in any one of these extra beds that are above the main hall. And again, there's all kinds of decorations. And you've got bookshelves, which I'll load up eventually. You can find books everywhere. Sleeping area. Yeah. The moving mannequin with the cultist dress on. Yeah. They always move. Then there is the decorations up here. A arcane enchanter to enchant. I've built a lot of stuff. You store it in this wardrobe. And then you can enchant it. You see there's plenty of stuff I found. That eventually I will enchant and raise my enchanting level up. Again, something to do. Exit to Skyrim. Now let's go down here. And the final area is the cellar. And the cellar took a lot of work to finally build in. And down in the cellar, you have all kinds of decorations. You have shrines. These were hard to build. You have a shrine to Kinnereth, a shrine to Julianus, a shrine to Dibella, a shrine to Stendar, a shrine to Arke, a shrine to Akatosh, a shrine to Mara, a shrine to Talos, and a shrine to Zinathar. You got to get amulets and stuff for each one. Building out is a pain. The cellar is probably the hardest. Now you come over here. There's this area, and you can have, due to fishing, you can store fish in the aquariums. You build aquariums. Woohoo! I'm going to fast forward a little bit through this here because it's annoying. Okay, now the final part of the cellar you actually have a forge and smelter. And, and a lot of storage for ore or created uh, ingots. You got a table here. You can make all kinds of stuff to your heart's content. And I have this chest full of stuff for crafting and making. You can raise, raise your smithing skill up quite well. And again, safes for storage. This is Lakeview Manor, folks. Again, it's now complete. And I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. And leave comments. If you like these types of videos, I post four videos about video games a month. And you can hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you won't miss out. Again, I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, showing off Lakeview Manor. And I thank you for viewing. I thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks 
for stopping by. By the order of the yard, stop right there. Small.